Okay, so honestly, I don't even think they're going to um, give me no food stamps or an interview today. Like, if y'all just knew how many people was involved with trying to have me out here hungry on the streets pregnant, I had went to Reverend Stewart's house um, in Montgomery County when I had first got out. I had uh, went to Blackjack House, Sterling. He tried to assault me. And um, I left. Well, he was acting like he was going to try to assault me. And I told him to drop me off by the uh, Fiesta. But I had Sterling take me to the Human Resource Office. And I didn't know he was setting me up. And I had him take me to get some clothes from Forever 21. And I had got some uh, clothes. And I went to the Human Resource Office. And I had got them to give me some food stamps. Some emergency food stamps. Um, when I got out from Conroe, Texas. And then uh, when Sterling started acting violent in his house only the first or second night, I told him he needed to drop me off by the Fiesta in Conroe, Texas. And he dropped me off and I was walking past the Salvation Army, but it was closed. And then I went into the little gas station right there straight ahead and got a whole bunch of snacks and food. And I went and sat by the laundromat and a man named Kiwi started talking to me. And he was there with his grandpa, Reverend Stewart, in Montgomery County. And Reverend Stewart had did a life sentence and Kiwi got a rape charge and Blackjack had assault charges and it was rumors that he was a pedophile. But I didn't know all this. So Kiwi said that he could, I told Kiwi I was pregnant and he was like, I'll take you to my trailer on my grandpa and my grandma and them property is my trailer. And I met his auntie cat and his cousin Cookie and I showed them my stomach that I was pregnant and they was like, oh, that's a stone baby. You can't be pregnant that long. That baby dead. That's what they were saying. And then his auntie was like, but I knew my baby wasn't dead. And then his auntie, uh, Reverend Stewart's daughter, was staying in another trailer. And then she told me I could come stay over there, but I had to pay her some rent. And I told her that I didn't have no rent. I didn't have no money to pay her to let me stay there because Kiwi trailer was nasty. And he was trying to make me have sex with him. And he said he was not going to do that. When he asked me could I, would I come to his trailer, I said, don't try to have sex with me because I don't like you and I'm not going to do it with you. But he kept trying to. And then him and his cousin started acting violent. And then his um, cousin Kat told me I could come over there to their house at Cookie House on the same property. And then uh, Kat, I mean Cookie was saying, oh, you got to leave. You got to get up out of my house because I fell asleep on the couch that first night. She was like, oh, y'all got to get that girl up out of my house. Um, and then uh, the auntie said I could come over there. And I had took, I had their cousin, I mean, I had his uncle Pug who was in jail for murder, who had just got out for murder to take me to get groceries off my food stamps. And you know, um, he had said, oh, well, uh, my sister don't want you having all that stuff in her house. She, how, you need to call her and ask her, can you get groceries? I was like, well, if I'm supposed to be living there, then she don't mind me getting groceries. And she had told me that, um, she, she was like, okay, well, if you just uh, buy food or whatever, la, 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 you can stay there. And she was trying to force me to give her my food you know what i'm saying in order to let me stay there and um let her family eat up all my food and so then all of a sudden she gonna tell me uh you need to get the hell up out of my house because my 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 nephew like you and i can't keep him away from uh trying to bother you and then she was like well you can get anybody to take you in with that stomach and she was like oh that's just afterbirth that's just afterbirth she was like ain't no way you still pregnant that's just afterbirth and then um she was like, oh, you need to get out of my house and uh, anybody will take you in with that stomach. And I had only $80 left on my car because I was just trying to be nice. I needed somewhere to sleep. I needed somewhere to stay. And had I known what they was doing, I'd have been like, okay. But so then I was like, okay, I'll just leave. And uh, her grandpa, I mean, Reverend Stewart, her, her daddy had dropped me off with my sister. I called my sister and see if I could come over there with her. And when I went over there with her, I told her, I told, you know, I was like, I got like $80 left on my card. And then I went to the Walmart and I had uh, bought some food or whatever. And then next thing you know, my food stamps was cut off and I didn't, they didn't give me no more. So I don't know if that's how they do emergency stamps, but I'm going to look it up. Because when I seen how many people was plotting on me, trying to bring me in the house to starve me, now I see why they was trying to eat up all my food and why people was trying to conspire to possibly have my food stamps cut off you know um and this is this is criminal this is evil because i need food to eat and i need a place to stay and my baby is not dead my baby ain't no stone baby and my baby ain't no damn afterbirth 
and the man who gave me a ride, he's saying that he's from uh, California. Talking about he's staying in a motel. He's from California. Beverly Raul was from California. And a lot of the black people that was aware that they was poisoning me and my baby in the back of the jail was from California. It was a lot of celebrities involved. Y'all know Hollywood. You know, when they found out, oh, a young white man got shot, they was like, oh, poison this young black woman in the back of the jail, knowing that I was pregnant. Um, so, knowing that I'm pregnant. And so, this is Hollywood for you. So, it's people actually out here now from California knowing that I'm out. And they call themselves wearing masks, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen celebrities. I ain't even finna mention the names of some of the people who I actually have seen out here trying to plot on me. But I'm going to just go in here and see. I'm going to look it up and see how long it's supposed to last because I know emergency food stamps are supposed to last at least like two, three months. And I know 30 days, you know, because I only had it from August for the month of, like, really... Yeah, August, and then the next month they didn't put them on there. So, you know, that's why I'm very small. I didn't go back to reapply or anything like that, but I know that my sister, the Conroe uh, department, um, Kat and Cookie, these women trying to say my baby was dead or my baby was after birth, these are women that's behind uh, trying to have my baby killed. Um, these are the women that's behind trying to starve my poor child. Um, these are the women that's behind this crap.